My name is Francis Osure. I work here as uh, the village director. Uh, as the village director, um, I'm in charge of all the operations that take place within here. Here we have uh, 15 family houses. Uh, each house an, has an average number of 10 children. Uh, we also have um, uh, assistant mothers. We call them mere aunties that support the mothers in their absence, when they are on their leaves, when they are, they are off, or when they have other personal things to attend to. So they are the ones who take care of the children in the absence of the mothers. We also have other support system, like the administration staff, who also ensure that uh, uh, the daily operations in the village are uh, uh, done, and also in line with the vis vision of SOS Kenya, to ensure that we provide quality care for the children and we take care of children who are at the risk of losing parental care or who have totally lost parental care. So that is the category of children that we have here and uh, we have all the support system to ensure that uh, uh, the operations move smoothly from the location up to the national office where we have uh, other uh, support system. So basically that is how uh, we work. Of course you don't work alone, you need other people to support you in the process. So House 10 is just one of the houses here within SOS uh, Children Villages Kisumu. Um, what uh, I can say that um, when I joined the organization in 2018, uh, I joined, I found uh, a big number of children in the village. Um, some were, uh, we, by the time I was joining, we had no child in college or university. Uh, but right now, we have a number, quite a number in, uh, in uh, colleges and university. And every year we see tra children transiting from, from kindergarten to primary, from primary to secondary. And we are seeing also from secondary to, to, to university and colleges. And I think uh, what has... Uh, what has motivated me most is when you see uh, young people growing and they are moving from one stage of life to another and they are becoming uh, better people in life. Uh, you see uh, children are now moving to universities and scoring good grades. That motivates you because as a person you know that in the future this child or this young person will have something to do that will be make his or her life better. So I'm motivated when I see changes that happen in the life of our children. And uh, uh, every day children grow and they change. Uh, when I came, some were very young, but now they are big boys and girls, so that motivates you to wake up in the morning and support them to become reliable people in life. So that when they meet you after 20 years, you will be able to say that you did one or two to make me become who I am today. So that motivates me a lot. My hope is that when a child gets to, to our organization, by the time he or she is exiting the program, there is change and transformation in his or her life. Because when you come here, 
you are able, we are able to support you to go to school which is important in in our society today so this child will not live here the way he or she came she will be uh, moving to the next level of education so my hope is to see that children that come through our program are able to transit and become reliable and uh, self-reliant in fu their future life. Uh, I want to say that uh, NCBA has really created a lot of impact into the lives of children in House 10 and uh, the entire SIS children, not even in Kisumu alone, but in other program locations. Whatever they give to House 10 has enabled the children to go to school. In House 10, currently we have uh, uh, two in university. One is uh, doing dental surgery at the University of Nairobi. Another one, another girl just joined Kenyatta University. And two others are also in middle level colleges. And we also have others in secondary school and one in primary. Without the support of NCBA, we could not have achieved some of the things that we have done together. When they come here, children also get motiv motivated. And some of them have even said, I want to be like so and so in NCBA. So it's on, it is not only the support, the monetary support that they give to us, but also that inspiration that children see in them uh, will go a long way in creating a long-lasting impact in their lives because they want to become like the CEO of uh, NCBA Bank. Some of them, uh, when they write their stories, they say that their mentor is the CEO who has been coming over and over again. So to NCBA, your support has really supported us because without the support of NCBA and other like-minded partners, we are not able to do all the programs that we do here. Of course, uh, we are not only taking care of their education, but also we are ensuring that the children are all round, such that when they go into the community, they are able to fit, they are able to cope, and their self-reliant is also uh, enhanced and strengthened. So it's, it's a thank you for NCBA for the support.